Hi, I'm Mark Parker. I'm part of the design team. I'm the design manager for Elite Renewables. For this project in particular, the client was looking at pretty much an all-round solution for their mechanical and electrical setup. We took a good focus on renewables and this. She wanted a ground source heat pump and that could do her heating, her hot water, her cooling, pretty much anything you'd want a ground source heat pump to do and it does it massively efficiently because any cooling that she does can effectively recharge her boreholes and she can recoup that heat to then use back again in the winter. It's a pretty much all round solution for her and she's getting massive efficiency boost from doing it that way. This project we went in and did a heat loss survey of the building to establish what heat requirement was needed for the building and in this case she needed a, a 59 kilowatt stable heat pump and that was mostly due to her cooling demand because cooling is always a higher demand than, than heating. So as part of that solution she had an 800 litre buffer vessel and also an 800 litre cooling vessel as well. All of that connects to an array of fan coil units um, which are in the building and specific targeted rooms that, that need cooling in the summer and from her heating point of view she had underfloor heating throughout the whole building which um, provided her, her building with sufficient heat during the winter. That all pairs with an 800 litre instantaneous hot water cylinder. Um, it works a little bit differently to your normal cylinder which is a stored volume of water which you, you access. This is something you, you effectively can get as much hot water as you need. This client wanted to have a carbon free home. She didn't want any reliance on fossil fuels. It was a good solution for her, perfect solution for her. Normally you'd have, you know, a typical system you'd have in this sort of house is a gas boiler and an AC unit outside, both which are not particularly efficient at what they do. The AC system's okay, but again, when you, com when you combine your heat pump with heating and cooling, uh, you've got that capacity in the boreholes that you can reclaim again. So, you know, efficiencies well over five are, are, are achievable in this setup, probably even more than that, to be honest. Your normal ground source heat pump efficiency is probably probably around 4.5 for these stable units. We run the system at about 40, 35 to 40 degrees, but because you're shoving all that energy back into the boreholes, you're getting heat from the boreholes at a higher temperature than you normally would from the ground. So you, you do get efficiencies much higher than you would normally do on a standard heat pump setup. So this is the main heart of the plant room. In front of me, we have the heating buffer. We had the cooling buffer. We then will have the necessary pumps to run the system, all the underfloor heating. Onto the domestic side, we have a boosted cold water tank. With the cold water again, it's all boosted, so it's all nice equal pressure. So when you're using your showers and things like that, you've not got one overpower in the other. The main challenges were the space, really. Often the problem with high-end residential projects is you don't get enough space in the plant room. There was actually going to be two heat pumps initially, but because of space, we had to go for a single larger heat pump but uh, we, we managed it. Another phase, which is the swimming pool, which is at the back end of the house, we've extended all the mechanical and domestic services through the ground to supply the heat star at the end. We have a pump drainage tank as well. We've also, just above us, there's gonna be a couple of washing machines and things like that. So we've got water supplies, drainage in upstairs as well. We're now just in that final stage today to sort of walk away, ready for the builders to crack on for us to do one final visit.